fifth loss at home. Now they are 10 and five on their home floor. Obviously, they play a lot better on their home floor than they do away. That's what we've seen so far this season. Uh, but as, as you mentioned, Smitty, so many injuries, but, but Dame comes back. He had missed the last five games. They only won one of those games. He responds tonight with 24, hits that last three late, and, and you were doing it when we weren't on camera, but you, you already knew what time it was. It was Dame time. He showed he can he, – he still has something right now. He's recovering from that injury. Yeah, and I think we've gotten spoiled over the last couple of years because Dame has been heroic for the Trailblazers. Excellent word. Um, he really has gotten them out of a number of situations. If you can remember last year, mm-hmm. the ups and downs that they went through, he was putting up 40 and 45. and 50. Like, Dame was that guy where he would just go out and get that, and he is coming off an injury. Yes. He is coming back, and there are years where you slow down as a result of having to carry the load for so much for so long. And I think we're seeing that now, um, that this guy is, you know, it's not that he's slowing down. It's that he's had to carry so much of the load for so long. Candace, and you add uh, the season last year, unusual how the length of the season, and you go right into USA basketball, not a lot of time to recovery time for him, and you go right back into training camp. And then you never want to start a season with a little nagging injury. And I think that really hurt Dame. And like you said, as Rich is used to him, like Dame's going to pull it through. But I think that's where, you know, the frustration will come in from uh, maybe a Damon Lillard, not saying he is frustrated, but where I need some help. And that's where the Portland Trailblazers as an organization got to find some help for him and C.J. McCollum. Yeah, at this point, we've we, we talked about it for, for years now. It seems like they've had first-round exits in four of the last five seasons. We know they went to the Western Conference Finals the one year against the Warriors, and that team seemed to have some synergy. However, Smitty, as you said, they need to figure something out. We know December 15th is on the way. Candace, do you foresee them making any moves potentially to add and get some players? you see anything happening? For me, the biggest telling fact was this summer they didn't make any moves um that to me is when you make your moves you make your most important moves Mm -hmm. for to be cornerstones within a franchise you don't make it a trade deadline I mean obviously they've thrown out Ben Simmons is still available I wonder what that would look like um I think Dame is a guy that is capable of playing off the ball. Yep. And I, I do feel as though he's had to play on the ball. He's had to have the ball in his hands so much. He's had to make plays. I think we would see a greater Dame if he was able to play off the ball sometimes. Mm. Smitty, your thoughts about additions that could I be totally made. Totally agree. I, I think he works. I mean, um, the Portland Trailblazers have been searching for a big. Even though he runs the point, Ben Simmons is a big. Then Portland Trailblazers at time, we know they were fantastic in the – in the past, offensively, defense was a problem. Ben Simmons can cover that. Then what Candace says, it takes some pressure off. Now you have another guy that can get guy, other guys easy shots. Somebody can get Dame an easy shot. So I think it fits well. How much do you have to give up? That's the uh, question. And obviously, Brian's got to add some other teams, so you don't have to give up from, too much from your team. But if they can add Ben Simmons without giving up too much, I think it's a perfect fit. You have this window. Yes. If you are going to keep Dame, you have this window. Maximize and it's closing. It. Yeah, it's closing. You know, I'm not talking for Kevin Love, but Kevin Love back to Portland, having a bid that can pick and pop. Ooh, that'd be a big contract, though. Well, yeah, well guys, get this window. <laughs> that, that window is important. I mentioned December 15th. That's when 84% of the players in the league become available and able to be traded. So we're paying attention as that date is coming up this week.